Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time we're proud to offer our award to BOCI Prudential Asset Management. BOCI Prudential represents a powerful collaboration for dynamic wealth management. Founded and headquartered in Hong Kong, the core businesses include Domestic Mandatory Provident Fund Services, or MPF, and Unit Trust. The company offers a comprehensive spectrum of investment products and services, pension funds, retail unit trusts, exchange-traded funds, institutional mandates, and other investment funds. BOCI Prudential Asset Management have been awarded the Best Fund Management Company Hong Kong 2016. Recently, visiting the London Stock Exchange Television Studios to receive the award was Managing Director Dr. Hing Tang and Vice President Samuel Mui. Later, Dr. Tang told us more about the success story of BOCI Prudential. Dr. Tang, welcome to London and uh, thank you for joining us today. And indeed, congratulations on winning the Global Banking and Finance Award as well. Yeah, thank you. You know, we're actually very pleased to be here and uh, actually get the award. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's talk more about your company, if we may, an organization, BOCI Prudential. Tell us a little bit about the history and how that, uh, how that operates today. Yeah, we are a joint venture between the Bank of China International and the Prudential PLC in the UK. Uh, we set up the company in 1999 and started as a pension manager. Uh, over the years, obviously, we developed our product suite and now we offer comprehensive uh, products to uh, both institutionals and retail clients. Uh, but uh, mainly, we are still a uh, we are pension uh, fund manager. Uh, but we focus on different things. You know. Well, as a leader in, in fund management in, in your part of the world, what distinguishes uh, BOCI, would you say, from, from other organizations in the same uh, area? Um, I think we are I unique in the sense that we have two distinct investment teams. You know. uh, the traditional one, you know, uh, we, they cover uh, even equity and fixed income you know, by using traditional fundamental approach. You know. And we do have a quantitative strategy business unit, uh, which employ quantitative methods uh, to manage uh, global equity uh, as well. Now, you mentioned there about uh, QSBU, to give it uh, its short uh, version, Quantitative Strategic Business Unit, Strategic <laughs> Business Unit. Tell us a bit how that works and, uh, and what, 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 what is the benefit of it? Well, yeah, QSBU is a uh, kind of business unit within a company. So we do have uh, our own business development colleagues, you know, and the portfolio managers, equity uh, analysts, and uh, the researchers as well. So, well, basically, uh, we try uh, to offer a wide range of uh, quantitative strategies uh, to our clients in the region. Now, I know you provide a, a broad range of investment solutions. How do you monitor client success and give them support? Well, we believe in what we call insightful corn uh, strategies. Uh, insightful means, you know, we believe in a uh, combination of deep economic insight with robust quantitative process, uh, which will give us a better chance to achieve uh, superior performance. So our economic insights uh, tell us, you know, um, which asset class we should go into, and so we try to articulate, you know, a robust investment process, you know, uh, to tap into that asset class. So, uh, hopefully, uh, the disciplines, you know, and then the insight will help us to, to give a more robust uh, performance, you know. And after we discuss the clients, you know, or on their list and, and the concern, you know, so, uh, we will employ uh, a reputable risk models you know, to control the risk and hopefully to achieve their uh, return. Is it how you go about selecting and helping clients find the right kind of funding uh, for their investment? That's right, yeah. So I, I think that different kinds have different needs, you know, but uh, we first of all, we, tr we have to understand the clients' needs, right, and they, their risk tolerance, this kind of thing, right, and then we articulate 
uh, a suitable methodology and risk uh, budget. Understood. Now, uh, let's look at Hong Kong itself. What would you say the challenges and opportunities were in investing uh, in, in the Hong Kong area through your, your business? Right. Hong Kong is obviously still uh, a financial hub uh, in the region. Uh, so we are quite an open economy. So I think one of the challenges the, uh, in terms of investment is the, uh, the correlation uh, among different markets or even among different asset class, you know, increase you know, significantly this year. I mean, this probably reflect the, uh, the many years of easy monetary policies, you know. So uh, anything happened to one market will easily, you know, affect the performance of the others markets. So uh, given that Hong Kong investor in particular, you know, in the pension, they're exposed to the global economy, uh, global equity, global fixed income. So as a fund manager, I think we have to pay extra attention to these issues. You did mention about e easy money reforms and so on. Uh, and like every country, there are regulations and restrictions. Uh, what, are, what are the issues there? What are the challenges, would you say? Yeah, I would say our regulators are working real hard. You know, basically, on one hand, we, uh, we need to keep our regulatory standards you know, uh, up to date, you know, uh, combined to the um, Google macro uh, economic environment. Uh, but on the other hand, um, I think one, one of our edges actually is to work closely with the mainland regulator. So for example, uh, we see a huge opportunity coming, you know, uh, in November actually this year, uh, is the Shenzhen Stock Connect. We already connect the Hong Kong stock and the Shanghai stock a year ago, you know, and, and which is it's hugely successful. Now with the Samsung stock, uh, stock Connect coming, so I think global investors uh, should be uh, able to access the China Asia's market very easily. So this is a really a big thing. You know. so, so you feel that the systems will make things easier going forward then? That's right, absolutely. Yeah, mm. so China has opened up the economy, you know, and the, the equity market. So I'm sure that, you know, both China and the rest of the world will benefit from this. And we all know, because it's always in the news, that you know, China being one of the world's biggest economies actually is always making the headlines. There have been challenges recently. How would you see, from your point of view, the, 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 the economy in China at the moment? Yeah, I would say China is quite big, you know, I mean, <laughs> in terms of size and diversity. Mm -hmm. So people always talk about uh, the downside, but probably actually focus on the old China, we call it, right? So we are now have two China, right, or, or two economies yeah, within China. One is the old one focused on resources intensive industry, you know, export, you know, kind of thing, right? But the new China is actually is more like uh, healthcare, IT, consumption and services, you know. So they're quite different, you know. The old China, you know, I agree, you know, maybe slowing down. But the new China is very robust, you know, and I, I would actually expect a, a, a really significant progress, you know, down the years. So exciting times ahead then, you think? Yeah, for the new one. Yeah, the new <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the new, the new way of thinking, yeah. Uh, let's come back again to, to, to your own operations and the, the QSBU that we mentioned a, a moment ago. What future plans do you actually have for that? Yeah, that's a very uh, good question. Actually, I, I think we come to the stage now, we have to think ahead of time. That's why I'm calling ourselves, you know, a corn 2.0 kind of uh, evolution. Yes. Uh, basically, we try to incorporate all these uh, artificial intelligence, you know, and all other advanced techniques, you know, to uh, generate more alpha sources, you know. Uh, so and leave our fund managers and analysts, you know, and researchers, you know, focus on idea generating. You know, basically, again, we, we, we call it ourselves insightful corn. So I would love to see uh, my people focus more on the insight part, you know, and, and let the machine and the robot that deal with the uh, corn part. So hopefully that will be very interesting and uh, very uh, fruitful in the future.
Well, I hope it, it turns out to be as positive as you say. And in the meantime, once again, thank you for coming to London. Congratulations on the award. Dr. Tanks, it's been excellent to talk to you today. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You, no, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.